They don't have a chair for Skeletor. <laughs> Let's get to subject number one. The finale of Walking Dead was out only a few days ago. <coughs> now, Davey, I know you ain't a fan, but a lot of us are, and I was. Um, I want. To, I'm going to ask people what do they think, and we'll get to that in a second. But my can opinion, I give a quick like backstory of like why I didn't pick up the show? I was going to get to that, but okay. Oh. Okay, well, okay, there you let's go. let's let's listen to Davy why he doesn't like it first. All right, go on. It's not a, it's not that I don't like it. It's just the fact that um, when I finally when I heard about the show, it was already so like once I had time to actually buy into it and watch the show, it was already so far ahead where I was just like, damn, dude, like I don't feel like binge watching multiple seasons in order to catch up to where everybody else is at. Because, I mean, people at work are like, well, did you see The Walking Dead? Oh, my God, it was so crazy. Uh, uh, uh. Like, once that hype really started catching up, with, like, catching up with the show, I was already so far gone where it was like, I'm not going to watch. I'm not going to watch this shit. Like, I can't watch it. I can't watch it. It's like four or five seasons in. I tried watching the first couple of episodes, and it, they were good. Don't get me wrong. But it's like I just couldn't see myself watching multiple episodes in order to catch up where everybody else was at. So I just was like, yeah, you know what I'm saying? Well, it's movies and TV shows are subjective. I'll give you an example. Yellowstone, I'm hearing so much about it. And I have tried on two occasions and I can't seem to get past the first episode. And I feel it will be really good. It's just I'm not in the mood right now. To It looks like it's really deep, full of characters. and I, I'm just not in the mood. And every few weeks or a few months, there's a new season. I think there's a new one out again. So, yeah, I, I see what you mean, like, Sometimes it's hard to get into it, even if it seems good. But it was good. Like I, like I was, I was enjoying the first episode. I just couldn't, like, I just didn't have the time to just sit back and be like, "Yo, like, in order to have these discussions with people, because really, watching a show to me, like, the fun part about it is discussing it with people. And it's like I'm so far behind that it's like in order to catch up, I'm gonna have to like give up so much of my time in order to catch up, and. Doing that just to like have these discussions with people just didn't seem feasible to me at the time. Well, you have 11 seasons to binge now, apparently. Well, it's 11, but um, the finale was last um Monday, and uh, well, <sighs> I was a fan from day one, and I wish I was able to binge them all because I loved the whole thing. Um, it's had its ups, ups and downs, but my opinion, and this is no spoilers here, it's just my opinion on certain things the last season at the last episode i feel like and as much as i thought it was all right i feel like it could have ended after any season since negan because we have a bad guy for two seasons human or not human but someone who's li a living we take him down straight away there's a new bad guy we take them down we take him down then there's another one and i felt like this episode this last episode spent 50% of well, 50, 50 minutes into um, getting rid of the bad lady in the Commonwealth and all these other things. And they spent 10 minutes on wrapping 11 seasons up. I would have preferred to have seen maybe half an hour or a whole episode of them wrapping stuff up rather than 10 minutes. I felt like we could have ended so, it. Oh, right. and because it didn't matter us taking or them taking down the the commonwealth because in the last one they took down the whisperers and once they took down negan i felt that was the highest peak every other bad guy after that and don't get me wrong the whisperers weren't too bad but after negan it was like uh, so you could have ended it at any time but as much as i have enjoyed it i still think that i'd like to have seen more wrapping up now there was something we discussed on a live show ironically a few weeks ago where i said why i would like to have seen the zombies evolve yeah yeah, like, yeah i remember I that. going on and let's see if, and if we can do something new with it and would you believe it after i said that the next episode it shows some kind of brain activity some involvement opening doors and climbing ladders and stuff and i went oh my god now we're onto something here you Three got episodes <laughs> before the last f finale I could, I'm like, how much, how interesting would it have been 
two or three seasons ago, if zombies were slightly evolving because of how long they've been around, they recognize guns, they know how to open doors, mm -hmm. they can climb walls now. So tall walls. Because, the, because walls. can I interject real quick? Because you watch the show, I don't really watch the show. So well, that would that would have made it more interesting because the zombies have now taken a back seat, correct? Because they're not even That's a factor anymore. They're just there in the background. Oh. And now, now it's really just a human dynamic, the whole like the yeah. different societies that have created themselves and established themselves warring with each other, right? That's yeah. like the general idea of the show now, right? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Just all right, go ahead. Sorry. Well, <laughs> I say, like, no, but you yeah, exactly. But <clears throat> along with the zombies being in the background, I feel like we've come across a bad guy like the governor in season three, I think it was. And then Negan. Hello, and then governor. And we go through all these things, yeah. And then, all right, we're going through another bad guy now. And I'm like, as much as I'm enjoying it, and I was enjoying it, I actually liked the whole aspect of the Commonwealth. I liked it all. I was really actually enjoying this more than I have last few seasons. But I feel like they should have done more with the zombies now. It's been 10 years. And the thing is, they did, like, three, possibly three or four episodes before the finale they actually showed us that they have started to become involved, like opening a door and climbing a ladder. And they were like, what the hell? And I'm like, oh, my God, why are we showing this now? Oh, my God, it would have been so cool to see if they could, you know. I'm assuming get around that it's going to become more of a factor with the later. I'm hoping so. I really with the later think. announced spinoff series, right? It has to. That's what I was going to get to next. So mm -hmm. for people who love The Walking Dead, we do have that it's been announced. It's official. So we have some spin-offs coming next year. Now I'll start with this one. So we got Maggie and Negan, Dead City. Dead City. I'm not going to go why and how because in, just in case you haven't seen the last of The Walking Dead, I'm not going to go into it. But my opinion on this, and I do like Negan. He's one of my favorites. But I feel like they've cut his nuts off a little bit. I know it's Mr. Nice Guy, but I feel like they've cut his nuts off a little bit. And I would have been more interested in seeing the nasty Negan than Mr. Good Guy. But still up for it. Can I then chime in got... real quick? Wait, wait, wait. Can I chime in real quick about the Negan? So yeah. the Negan show, apparently Dead City, which is being called Dead City, uh, this show will follow Negan and Maggie going through the city of New York, like the dilapidated city of oh, New York. Right. Yeah. And then also this show has promised that there will be the return of a few familiar faces. And, and it seems to be characters that uh are very important or have interacted with negan himself so that's something that i dug up during my research okay that's good i didn't know that i just knew there was a show that's it also got one about daryl too <laughs> so well speaking of daryl daryl dixton now probably daryl's probably my favorite character since rick oh negan they're, they're, they're for, for me rick negan and daryl hold the show for me and uh he's yes he He's got his own show, Daryl Dixon. Now, I don't know much about this. I don't know what's going on. I know he's probably it's looking It's about him. Forward. It's following Daryl Dixon on his journey through a zombie-ridden France. France, is it? All oh, right, yeah. France. Yeah. My now, I have a question. Uh, in one of the seasons of The Walking Dead, Daryl took the lead, correct? Because Rick died, supposedly? Pretty much, yeah. Okay, and uh, I think it's season nine, correct? Yeah, I think it is, yeah. All right, so a lot of people weren't happy with that. A lot of people didn't like Daryl carrying the show. A lot of people didn't like him as a lead. That's the vibes that I'm getting off of the conversation that I had. Do, do you do you share that sentiment, and does the chat also share that sentiment? Were you guys not a well, fan of Daryl-led right. Walking Dead? They didn't change char Daryl's character much, which was a good thing because he was kind of like your wannabe left alone kind of a hero that just – done what he had to do when it was time to do it they didn't change that they didn't make him like like a leader all of but he took care of business when it was time i was worried when rick died or well i'm saying rick died you know everyone knows if you're watching i was worried when rick left that where are we, are we going to be able to hold the show i felt daryl was daryl like i, I like daryl from start and to the last second of the walking dead i like daryl all the way even more so all the way he just evolved he didn't change his character much it did show him becoming more caring over the years you know he was kind of a cold ass bastard at the beginning but i feel like 
he is without him the show would have been a lot worse i mean for me it's, it's and, and negan but without the reason Darryl, why i'm saying that is because um apparently daryl when daryl took the lead after rick departed um there was there was there, there's actual data about it a lot of people didn't like a lot of people hated the idea they didn't really like him as a lead and then on top of that be once rick died and daryl took over a lot of people actually their viewership numbers actually went down because of this so with that being said and this kind of negative connotation or this negative dark cloud hanging above them will daryl be able to have his own show i think so based off of based off of that like People's negatives kind of reaction because I know he's a fan favorite. Like a lot of people like Daryl. Uh, people love him, but yeah, yeah, people love him. But it didn't seem to carry over with people well when he was when he took the lead and the show was all about him and he kind of and and it, he became the center focus. Like a lot of people didn't like it, and the numbers don't lie. People dipped off in that season because of it, you know. So. There was some, there's some sort of correlation between him taking over the lead role and the viewership numbers dipping. Well, <clears throat> I think Rick leaving in general felt like the end because we, it started off with Rick and we watched the whole thing through Rick's eyes. You know, your the whole thing was through Rick's eyes following his story. And then he's gone. And now you've got... But the thing about Daryl is that I felt like when you see an episode of him on his own going out, doing what he needs to do, catching food, living in forests, you know, putting up, making fires and all that, killing, kicking ass, right? He, on his own, is probably at his best. And now that he's got his solo thing, he's going to be on his own for a while, which will mean he'll be at his best. And when he interacts with people, it's great. Now, the fact that you say he's the lead, he was the lead, but he wasn't completely on his own. He had, like, um, a few characters who also took the lead. As well, oh, I know that I, I, I get that, but I'm just saying, like, he became more of a center focus than he normally would be. He essentially took Rick's place in a way, in a strange way, right? I don't know if he took more center, I suppose he did, but it didn't feel like it. So I felt like it was done, yeah, it was done pretty well, to be honest with you. But he okay, put it the, okay. Did he take did, was he did he have more camera time? That's he, what I was about to say. I don't think it just he, he, as I said, he was a fan favorite, so he had plenty of camera time up until rick died or yeah. left and um i feel like like no i don't feel like it. if it was it was very little bit more i don't know because carol had a lot of time on her own um a lot of michonne a lot of people had sent a focus a lot of the time and it was it was mixed well with everyone so i actually have to commend the walking dead for keeping the show kind of pretty decent after uh, the lead character has gone you know so but speaking of lead character, it's not the only show that's coming next year. We also have Rick and Michonne. <clears throat> now, for those who know, they're a couple. Rick's disappeared, and it's everyone thinks he's dead. Michonne gets a lead, and she's gone. And it shows on The Walking Dead she disappears looking for him. We don't know. It's been no. It's been going on for ages. It's very quiet since season nine. They have kept this. A secret really well now it's come up this is happening next year and we're going to see what where and why happened to rick sort of thing where he's gone and michonne looking for him it's still up in the air all we know is there's a helicopter has taken him away that's all so we know. this is this is okay this is set before he disappears or this is set after the walking dead after so he disappeared okay, in season nine everyone assumed okay. he was dead Ask the audience knew he's just disappeared and there were apparently there was going to be a film or something, but it was very quiet. And I've even recently said, what's happening with this? But anyway, during, I don't know, was it this season or last season? Michonne has had some kind of lead that he possibly might be alive. And she has exited the show apart from doing um, Wakanda forever. She's probably a bit busy and I know she was pregnant as well, but yeah. now this is now she's found him or she's looking for him. And why he's gone, he was taken in a helicopter away to, I take it, it looks like maybe New York, I'm not sure. Mm -hmm. But this is where we're going to start from there, where he's gone, what happened. And he has been gone, Be, uh, his daughter, I think his daughter is like, he'd been gone about eight years. He's disappeared eight years. So he's gone yeah. a long time, very long time. His daughter has grown up. 
So, look, am I excited about these shows? Not as excited as I was maybe earlier on in season in, in, in The Walking Dead, because I will say that there was a time when I was sitting watching that as soon as it came on the TV. And then towards, we'll say, after Negan, I'm not going to lie. I think I would watch it when I got around to it. I would watch it. But it was when I got around to my excitement level was not as good. Now, my excitement level is so so, but you know what? Things can change. But I mean, that's all I have on this. What have you got? Let me let me piggyback off of what you just said. So, um, I have a question because I'm not like I said, I'm not in this universe, I'm not in this fandom like that. People in the chat, you guys can chime in as well. Have I, I want to? I feel like the 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 hype behind the walking dead. Is starting to sharply decline. Like I honestly yeah. am surprised that they're continuing with this series because a lot of people don't fucking like it like that no more. Like it's not as big no, as a deal. No, I, I remember I when Universal Studios every year at Halloween Horror Night had a, had another stupid uh, maze or something based around The Walking Dead. Every year it was the same thing, and then even on top of that, they had a, a specific maze dedicated year round. I might add, dedicated to The Walking Dead, and those were some of the lowest visited attractions at universal studios halloween horror nights because people were so fatigued with that series and also like i've been digging and i found some sort of analytics behind it to kind of support my argument now the season finale was the most watched episode in two years right but the thing is that doesn't mean anything because it's one of the lowest it's one of the second lowest viewed finales only secondary to um season 10 really Yes, I didn't know. and honestly, they, the they were saying that the viewership numbers peaked in season five, which was the terminus, I think, and then seven and eight had the biggest declines in viewership, and it's been on a steady decline until now. And yeah. all even though like the viewership numbers jumped up with the season finale, I still question the idea. People tuned in because the show's finally over and they probably wanted to see how it ends, right? And yeah. can they keep an audience attention? Can they keep people watching? Like, I didn't even know Fear of the Walking Dead was still going on. Yeah, it's still going. It's still exactly, going. but nobody talks about that shit. Nobody. Know, What's it must nobody be enough does. for, you know, they normally cancel a season or a show when it doesn't do well. So it still must be getting enough numbers to make another season. But as you said, there was a time when Walking Dead was everywhere, it was yeah, it was ruled the universe <laughs> everywhere. It was it was the top show on TV. It was on Facebook everywhere. It was nowhere you could go, and it's all. You, and then Negan was part of all this. And yeah, yeah Ter okay. Who was the villain in the Terminus? Because I don't know. I think was, it was it Negan? Negan? Yeah. Okay, so yeah, so that 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 proves my point that he was the highlight. He wow. that's he was the reason that he put asses in the seats. Basically, one of the best villains of. All time, I'm telling you, one of the best villains. Evil as hell, but so charismatic and likable. He was brilliant. But my point is, is yeah, you're right. I've noticed that that over the last few years, it seems to be very quiet. I mean, it has a huge loyal following, and I am a fan. I'm a big fan. But as I say, yeah, you're right. It's it seems to have declined, but not well, enough. You keeping up with all the shows, or are you keeping up with all the spinoffs? When they, I'm, when they I'm out. up to date with everything, even uh, Fear the Walking Dead. No, I said, like, when the spinoffs happen, are you going to be, up, like, keeping up with them? Well, that's what I said. Like, I'm not as excited as I would have been maybe five years ago, but I will watch them just to, to hopefully get excited about him. But we'll see. We'll see. Time will tell. That's all I got to say about that. Right. <laughs> <laughs> so, so Walking Dead sleeping with the bushes. But all right. So, look. For you guys out there who watches this later on and you don't know what we're talking about, um, start watching in the beginning. But all right, for you guys out there who watch this later on and not live, let us know what you thought. Like and subscribe. And yeah, subscribe as normal to both our channels. I'm Movie Mash and he's Cinema Chop Shop. Now, have we got any comments? We have tons, but I'm I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to try to uh, pick as many. I'm no going to try to pick it. Yeah, yeah, that's why I'm trying to go through it. Uh, Giselle says, kudos. Uh, they were able to give me a favorite character in the last season. I love Mercer. I have no clue who Mercer is. Uh, let's see. Christopher 
Let you know. says The Walking Dead, Milk the Cow. <laughs> Let's see. Uh, Hannah says ideas for the new TV spinoff, uh, The Walking Dead, castrate, castrated Negan. That's what I was just saying. Look. Negan, he was one of the best villains of all time. So likable. They seems to have cut his nuts off. And I'd still like him enough. They've cut his nuts off. And he's not the evil, likable villain that we want. I want to see more of that. Reattach his balls, basically. Giselle says, I believe they gave out the leadership roles to the whole group, which is better. That's what I mean. It felt like it wasn't just him. It was shared a little bit. It wasn't just him, the main character. Yes, Giselle. Giselle also kind of says shooting. he will definitely be successful. Fan favorite. They were smart to make spinoffs, I'm sure, because the series had lost a lot of audience. That series lost a gang of audiences. And well, you think about about though, they've got the most famous or most popular characters from the show go doing their own spinoff. Like, forget everyone else. You've got the favorite to do that. The favorite, you know. So, yeah, they've got the favorite characters. I think Carol was a favorite. I don't know what's happening with her, but still. Yes. I uh, feel like most seasons viewership dips after seven or eight years anyway, so thanks. It didn't make a difference after Rick left. No, okay. it didn't. I don't know. I, I, it's kind of hard. I, I think most shows that had like, uh, how many seasons did, nah, that only had like six or something. I got to think of something. How many seasons did uh, The Sopranos have? Six. Ah, oh, damn. <laughs> yeah, I don't know then. Uh, all good things must come to an end. <sighs> AMC just milking The Walking Dead. They're talking about soccer too. Uh, I never got bored with The Walking Dead. I really enjoyed it. So, I never got bored. No. So they're jumping the shark with Negan. Uh, I will watch the spinoffs. Uh, I can let go of The Walking Dead. It's a love hate situation. I get annoyed most of the times, but I love to. I love it too much. I agree. Yeah. I get so pissed off with certain characters, and it drives me mad. But yeah, I still go back and watch it. Jonathan says he's here to look at your beautiful face. Standard. Uh, who isn't? I mean, who out? Who in the comments and is watching this for any other reason but just to look at me? Nothing will ever be worse than Supernatural's last season. So low budget. I don't even. I've never seen it. it. I've never seen Supernatural, but I've never seen. It. I hear good things about it though. I really do. See you all soon, you royal boobs. I can't wait. <laughs> mm.